how to describe an X-ray with osteoarthritis. Actually, X-rays are the simplest and the cheapest way to reveal changes in the joint. We may reveal problems with articular surface, the deformity in the joint, axial deformities, and different stages of osteoarthritis can be found. So let's take an example, a hip joint. We can see left and right hip joint with different stages of osteoarthritis. Let's start from the right side. Looking at the right side, we can see the head of the femur, the acetabulum, and there is a gap between the head and the acetabulum that indicates the presence of the cartilage. We can note that this gap is decreased. It is less than normal, but it is present. So we have the layer of cartilage, which is decreased, but it is still present. Another scene, we can see a dense area of bone tissue on the edge of the stabulum. Actually, this is a subchondral area of acetabulum, and we are talking about sclerosis, so-called subchondral sclerosis of the upper part of acetabulum. This also indicates the presence of osteoarthritis. Actually, we are talking about the second the beginning of the third stage of osteoarthritis for right hip joint. Also, we can note that the density of bone tissue is decreased here. That indicates some osteoporosis of these subchondral areas. But if we will look at the left side, we'll see more advanced stage of osteoarthritis. So that is actually the head of osteo of femoral bone and acetabulum and we can't find the gap between articular surfaces. That means that this cartilage was completely destroyed. Another scene that we can note here, we can see some translucent areas which are responding for cyst formation. This is a big cyst in the acetabulum and there are some small cysts in the femoral head rounded due to resorption of bone tissue. We also can note a very intensive density area of the acetabulum and formation of osteophytes of osteotabulum. And femoral head. So we have the fourth stage of osteoarthritis on this side. 